A new report by advocacy group Global Witness revealed suspected anomaly in Myanmar's trade mining industry. Officially, this gem emporium in Myanmar's capital, Naypyidaw, is the only legal place to sell jade for export. Last year, it netted almost three and a half billion US dollars. But a report by Global Witness claims that the industry is worth far more, up to 31 billion dollars, a figure equating to around half of Myanmar's GDP. The secrecy surrounding the industry has, for some, raised questions over transparency and democratic reform. It could all be undermined if the worst of the worst, who are most against democracy and have the most to lose from, from positive change, are the ones who are actually making massive sums of money. The majority of Myanmar's trade is exported to China and Hong Kong. Most of the finest stone comes from the town of Pakan. Full-scale extraction resumed here a year ago, and locals say the area is being stripped to the core. Most of these businessmen think only about themselves, how they are gonna get jewels, as far as they can, as big as they can, as many as they can. They only have their eyes on that. Huge profits are being made in the jade industry here, but little is filtering down to the local population. And some say the thirst for jade is threatening their very homes. Now they are entering through the places where we live. So there are blockades when we enter through our villagers, and some people's houses have collapsed. Miners travel from all parts in search of the precious stone, while the country as a whole is left hoping for a bigger share of the country's jade bounty.